Okay, so. Hello guys, it's me, Gaming Star here. And today I am back in our episode of Okami. Last time we had basically gotten the final stray bead. AKA the uh, devil, the, the final, the Kamui devil tr gate trials. Oh god. That was a nightmare, let me just say. It took a while. So, yeah. And finally got the all stray bead, so we're basically finished with everything in here in, here in Nippon. So, this time we're gonna go ahead and climb upon, go ahead and board the Ark of Yamato. Let's go. Save. I highly recommend doing that. And highly recommend making two save points. Wait, 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 Ami. You know what happened if you cross the bridge near a bridge and board the Ark of Yamato, don't you? I mean, that boat is bad news. The people of Kumi, we all know this. It's the most hated and feared thing in all the land. Even legends have nothing good to say about it, love, she laid. And you know there's no turning back once you board that thing. I look like you want to say something. Resolve. You mean you've got the resolve to pass a point of no return. Of course. I see. Well, I guess this is it then. Ami, don't you go dying like you did a hundred years ago. So once, literally, a point no return is literally highlighted. So no point of no return. So once you say yes, then you're fucked. Alright, bro. Wait a sec, Ami. Um, well, we've been through a lot together. How long has it been since we first met? It all started in the valley of Sakiwa's chest. <laughs> then we laid the smack down on Orochi. Then that fox wench. We even went inside the emperor's body. And traveled to the bottom of the sea. Then before I knew it, I found myself back in my own land. And now it all ends with the appearance of the legendary Ark. But for you, it's just the start of an even greater adventure. Sorry, Ami. I'm afraid this is where we say our goodbyes. As I told you from the beginning, I joined you so that I could steal those 13 brush techniques of yours. We found them all during our travels. And now each and every one has been etched into my brain, into my mind. It's not like I've mastered them all yet, but I plan on having loads of fun with my newfound skills. It's all a bit sad to see you go, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Take care of yourself, pal. No, Ami, no. Look, you're a god. I'm a sprite. We live in completely different worlds. The road ahead may be a tough one, but it's one you're just gonna have to take walk alone. <laughs> I know. I know. It's just, I got things I need to do now, you know? Too. Now let's wrap this up. I can't stand long goodbyes. Farewell, my furry friend. Hold it right there, furball! How many times do I have to tell you? We gotta go our separate ways! Now leave me alone, you thick-headed lump of fur! He's right, Machiri. Your way lies this arc. You again? At last, at last the path to the heavens has opened up. Oh, fantastic. How long have I yearned for this moment? Two hundred years. No, it must have been much longer. Bah, what you're babbling on about now, you big fruitcake? A path to the heavens on that creepy old hunk of junk? What a fitting ex exit for a half-baked prophet like you. I have no idea what you are up to, and frankly, I don't care. I'm not a part of this anymore, so I'm gonna split. Have fun, you two! Afraid of the legendary arc, are we? What did you say? Well, if you must go, then go. 
Besides, only those worthy of the trip to the heavens may board the fabled Ark of Yamato. You never had a ticket, and you never will. Why, you witless two-bit half-baked prophet? You're just trying to trick me into getting on that stupid boat. I'm not gonna fall for something like that. I'm no fool. So there, ha! Wait a sec. I know. Maybe I should just hop on board your little boat. Yeah, and then I should tear the place apart as a little parting gift to you. <laughs> Damn poor Isu. My man. <laughs> Don't blame me. I already told you. Only those worthy of the trip to the heavens may board. But you didn't need me to tell you that, my little bouncing friends. You know very well why you can't board this ark. Do I not speak the truth, little celestial envoy? Well, it's about the time. My little friend, I have another prophecy for you. Listen up, because this will no doubt come in handy for you. It takes two to tango. The bond of the brush shall intercede. <laughs> I thought I'd give you the long version since it was my last. <laughs> Pretty good, don't you think? Those unwilling to fulfill their own destiny cannot board the fairy to a celestial plane. Life is all about resolve. Outcome is secondary. It is resolve that determines the value of your life. You have no doubt met many such resulted people in your journeys. Yes, we have actually. This we have. Think about it, we have. Well, my little bouncing friend, I must bid you adieu. Shall we, Machiri? We have a date with destiny, and we mustn't keep her waiting. to go back to our home up in the celestial plane the Ark of Yamato here we are it technically counts as a dungeon but it's not really a dungeon if you think about it it's really not a dungeon at all. my goodness I can't hardly believe it my eyes have been blue in the darkness all this time but I know I have a divine before me Okamia Matarasu you've returned home I Marco would like to welcome you on behalf of all celestials Celestial being, Marco. Marco. Oh, I made a mistake. I said that you returned home, but of course I was wrong. It was the inside of the dreaded ark which fell from the heavens. It's nothing like our wonderful home, the Celestial Plane. Alas, only my spirit remains in this world. It's been imprisoned here for many years. Perhaps it was my destiny. Okamiya Matarasu. I'd be so grateful if he could bestow upon a small gift, not only for me, but come to death. So he's basically the final shop in the game. He's the point of the return shop, as as um, people call it. He actually has gold dust. So look at his spirits. Yes, you could make it your money or do things. He actually has gold dust. But um fucking fortunately I don't have the money. Fuck a me. But yeah, you can basically like do that. It's something you can do. Uh because I actually did get the uh the technique off screen, so I did get that. But anyway, how about I go ahead and get Oh, you can get a water tablet here. You can also get all the other techniques except for the the thief glove. Thief glove. Which um which basically the reason why is because that involves East and East is not here with you, so that's why. I'm gonna try a couple of these. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just buy these instead. I have way too fucking many. I swear to God, dude. You know what? How about this? 
There we go, we're done. Okay. I don't have enough money to get the goddamn gold dust, which is kind of a shame. But... Shit. So here's what I recommend doing. Create a second save file. So if you so if you've messed anything up, then do that. That's something you should do. So anyway. The Ark of Yamato. Righty. So we have we have Blight. Orochi. Spider Queen. Crimson Helm and nine tails originally fun fact in the original concept art for this era you could actually see originally you were gonna fight like and Nekachu again but there's a scrap because you know because of fear because players will most likely go here early so you don't want to fight someone you just recently fought right so that's the reason they changed that and replaced it with the crimson helm so let's fight the spider let's go in order based on we fought the bosses they can go any order doesn't really matter but i usually go with whatever order good as i'm not mistaken you're from our home celestial plane it's you, Kamiya Matarasu. What a fabby for me to get after all this time. All my waiting under the dark, cold ice has paid off. We celestials may have lost our physical form, but our spirits live on for all eternity. Celestial being, Hakuba. We are heartbroken after the battle of Celestial Plane. When you fell to this world with that monster, we managed to be escape before it happened, but a little did we know the tragedy that was about to befall us. After we ran away from the battle, we boarded the Ark of Yamato, hoping to get away. But not long after we set sail, countless monsters appeared from the depths of the Ark. Having nowhere to run, all of us were devoured by the monsters. This Ark, which was built by the Lunar Civilization, turned out to be a cargo ship designed to transport thousands of monsters. Not long after setting sail, the Ark lost its rudder and plummeted down to this world. The Celestials on board, each and every one of us were slain. I don't know why the Moon Tribe built such a thing, but when the Ark fell to this world and brought such tragedy, well, it was nothing short of a disaster. Okamiya Matarasu. It seems that the Ark has begun to move again after all this time, but this place is like a nest of dark beings. Please take care not to be sucked into the darkness. The fact that I don't have any, this, you know, the end of the end kind of me, but I did it all for a fear for, for the shit, anyway. Quite literally. Alright, so now we're gonna fight this spider queen. Shall we? Okay, the Spider Queen. Alright, here we go. The Spider Queen! So basically, just a bit more powerful, but same shit, you know. Same shit as you did before. Same with the Spider Bandits as well. I think it requires three this time, instead of the, the two, like the first, like the, like the original fight. So this one's three, just like the Spider Bandits. Exorcism Elves are highly recommended because, well, you can end the fight in a goddamn breeze. Just like that. There you go. That's the Spider Queen. I didn't even do shit. Like, you see, I didn't even do anything. I just straight up just went like... We're done. Told ya. That was easy as fuck. <laughs> I didn't even try. Dude, I didn't even try. Oh, I didn't even goddamn try. I just exes up L's and we're good. Oh, yeah, exes up L's are like so OP. Like, they are so good. Especially for Odochi and the Spider Queen. And also the spider bandits, they're good. But dude, they're good. Spider feet, spider bed, whatever. Band spider. They're good shit. Like they are. Especially for Orochi. I think we're gonna need like at least two. Let me see how many do I have left. I have three. So I think at least we have enough for Orochi, which we're gonna do later. If I could. Yeah. Oh, no. If I could actually slash, I'd be gonna- Oh my fucking god. Fuck you, game. Thank you, game. I could not slash your shit. Oh, come to Matarasu, seen one of the dark beasts has disappeared. If only all the evil power would leave our best, then I'm sure the Ark would return to the celestial plane. Ah, I'm searching for another time. Man. But now it seems the time has come for my spirit to take leave. It's brought me joy to the heart of my child's heart. Hope you'll return to the celestial plane of Matarasu and that you'll bring light to the world once more.
Okay, so then next we're gonna fight the Crimson Helm, which is our next boss, and then we'll do Orochi. We'll do it in the order that we fought them in originally. So that's how I'm gonna do it. However, you can do it any order you like. It really doesn't even matter, but... You can actually bite a ghost, which is actually kind of funny. I find it funny when you can do that. Yeah, sure. Money. I'm gonna sell my... Like, half of my gut. <laughs> you don't mind me. Uh, can I buy, like, some gold ghosts? Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm also gonna buy an extra extra L. Thank you very much. And actually, probably don't know. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add this. So yeah, there are two final gold ghosts in the game. There you go. That's it. So there you go. It's the final gold dust in the game we're done with. There we go. That's the final gold dust. Let me go ahead and save again because we already have those. Um, so now I bought the gold dust, which is good. So I'm glad I got that over there. Alright, let's go to the Crimson Helm. You could tell because like even though like it doesn't say you could tell which is which based on the based on the symbol. Not all of them are going to have the Celestial on them, so it's only the one that you go with first. Usually it's the one that you go with first. It's not exactly in order, it's usually which one you go with. Alright, here we go. The Crimson Helm. Let's go! Ah, <gasps> oh, fuck. Why did I press the home button? Okay, I pressed the home button by accident on my Joy-Con. Okay, here we go. The Crimson Helm. All right, it's been a while, baby boy. Hello. It's been some time. Hasn't it? Go, that's the Crimson Hill. For a second time. Alright, our next one is going to be Orochi. So we're gonna fight Orochi next. Again, for like the third fucking time in a row. Orochi is literally the only boss that we fight like three goddamn times the entire game. Waka, we fight him twice. We fight literally Orochi. Actually, we fight technically three times Waka. Technically. Actually, no, four or five times. <laughs> if you count the two other Wakas. But that doesn't count. Well, canonically, you only fight like the um, like the Crimson Helm twice. You, you Basically, you fight straight up. Like Orochi three times. He's basically the most fought canonical boss in the entire game. Three goddamn times. Like, dude, what the fuck? So, Orochi, next. And then we'll go with Blight and then Nine Tails. And then that's it. It's you, Kamiya Matarasu. I did wonder when the Ark began to move. Lo and behold, it's the guardian of our home, the Celestial Plane. Celestial being, Sado. Why did such tragedy befall us? This Ark was built by a lunar civilization as a rescue boat. It had been enshrined in the Celestial Plane for many years. Finally, we've been told a different story. We believe it would be safe. In order to ensure our future existence, we fled the Ark when the monster attacked us. How could we have known this Ark would become our coffin? I don't know. Maybe it was our destiny. Perhaps it was all destined aside from the start? That monster, Orochi, who attacked the Celestial Plane, has suddenly came come flying across the Sea of Stars. And after destroying our people and our homeland, it went on to cause pain and suffering to this world. Perhaps? Perhaps it was all preordained by the Moon Tribe. Okay, let's fight Orochi now. For again! For the third time in a row, but oh, let's go. Alright, order to you again. You already know what to do. I don't have to explain shit. You already know what to do. So, once again, for however, you're basically fighting true order to this time. Basically, it's in, in true order to this time. Not, um, this time it's true order to not, not the regular one that we fought before. You could tell because of the, uh, because of the color scheme. You could tell. It's pretty obvious. You could tell. Yeah. 
take tick boy. change things up a bit. How about we go ahead and I'm doing the reverse order this time around. This time you're gonna need like two extra slip slips to finish him off to do that. And now Alright, so we're gonna do it this time in the this time we're gonna do it counterclockwise. This time we're gonna do it counterclockwise. We're not gonna because I thought we should Let's go the opposite. All right, we're gonna start this way because I thought I'd go ahead and do that. I don't know why, I just thought I'd do that because I keep doing the same order and I thought it'd be nice to switch things up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go reverse. I usually go clockwise, I'm gonna go counterclockwise. This is weird, but I guess that's how it is. There's actually a little new, there's actually a, a very obscure enemy that exists in this fight, which is basically a little mini Orochi that exists. However, it's very rare. It's very rare. You rarely ever get it. Most people, I never got it myself, I'll be honest. It's a pretty rare attack. But basically, it's a little Orochi that he summons. To put it simply, he summons little Orochi to get you. I don't know which head does it, but I do remember one of the heads does it. I do remember that one of the heads do it. I don't know which head it was, but I do know that one of the heads do this. I can't even remember which head it was, but I believe every head can do this and summon like little order cheese to get you. But I can't really remember if it was. But yeah, there is basically a little mini order cheat enemy that exists. It's a very rare enemy. Most people never even encounter it, but it exists. I forgot which I forgot which and which order cheat header was that summons it, but I do know it happens. Because it does exist. So I do know that. I think I did get it once. I'm pretty sure I got it like maybe a few times, but not a lot. I remember I got it like maybe once or twice in my in, in a few playthroughs, but not really. Not a lot. Okay, final. Dark head. I usually end off with the F head, but this time I'm gonna end up with the dark head, I guess. It's a bit different this time. That's it. That's all I achieved. Done. For the third time in a row. All right, we got it. How did I do? I sense the presence of someone here on the Ark. Could it be that man from the Moon Tribe? I can feel his pain somewhere deep inside the Ark. Amaterasu, you must save him without a moment's delay. You must stop the seeds of tragedy from being sown. In order for the evil of this world to be exercised, the sun god Amaterasu must return to the celestial plane. I pray that she will watch over the world from the heavens, and that you will bestow peace upon us all. Alright, 
All right, here we go. Next, Blight, and then finally, Nine Tails. Okay, so Blight's next. He's an easy one. I literally managed to finish him off like in under a minute, so he's a pretty easy one. And I will go with Nine Tails last. So. I have way too many of these. Why did I get so many of these? Well, I guess I have way too many demon things, so just I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Many of these. Alright, how about I go ahead and show you guys the brown rage while I'm here. So here's what it looks like. You basically hold it, it, it there you go. Now you know what it looks like. Basically, you shit out enemies. So now you know what it looks like. Basically, you shit. <laughs> you basically shit. There you go. Now you know what brown rage looks like. You literally just shit. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to show you that. That's the one I spent a lot of money on off on screen. So off screen. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well. It was worth it, okay? It was very much worth, very much worth that money. It was very much worth that much yen. It was very much worth just holding A and shitting and getting demon things out of it. It was very much worth it. All right? Very much worth it. Okay, here we go. Final one, nine tails. Oh, wait, wait. Why do I do so far? Way too many of these. And the fact you can't sell them is annoying. Why can't you sell them? I don't know. Azumi, I have been waiting for you, Kami Matarasu. My fleeting spear will disappear at any moment. I'm glad I was able to hold on long enough to meet with you. So I still be, Azumi. Long, long ago, you and Orochi fell together in this world. Then you waited for the chosen one to put an end to Orochi's life. That actually explains why why people why why the people Kamiki were like, oh, you're shooting Nui's, your Orochi's familiar or something. We were shooting Nui because we both fell at the same time. You waited patiently for countless moons, until finally the chosen one, Nagi, was born. Together you sent the monster off the moons of the death. You didn't realize it, but that was just one ripple in the wave of darkness. Exactly a hundred years since the legend of Nagi, the monster was quietly recovering his strength all those years, until it used Nagi's descendant, Susano, to complete his revival, and once again it tried to destroy this world. When you defeated it, its next stage's plan began. It cursed the land of this evil power. Blight. And the world was soon overrun by monsters from the Ark. Orochi's evil essence was made more than enough to power them all. The smoldering powers of darkness exploded through throughout Nippon. And the world was thrown into a storm of chaos never seen before. After that, well... You saw with your own eyes. The evil powers that left these monsters you defeated have all gathered here in the dark of Yamato. Exorcism of those roots of evil is a daunting task. You must keep your eyes open for what's in the center of it all. Alright, Nine Tails. I'm probably gonna do better with this one because the last time we left to say wasn't good because I don't have enough godhood. So this time it should be better. Let's go. Alright. Nine tails. Okay, now he has five, four tails left. Oh, now you're gonna take a shit.
Oh, oh my god. Okay, now you have no mask. Now you're true form. More like one tail, huh? More tail. Oh wow. Pfft. Okay, thanks. Ooh, hell yeah. How did it do? Eh, better, better than the first time, actually. The reason, well, Godhood. I didn't have any charms at that time. That's the reason. Where's my phone? Hold on, where the fuck is my phone? I had it around here. Where the shit is my goddamn phone at? Is it like in the- Oh my god, it's in the seat, isn't it? Where is that shitty ass phone at? Where's my iPhone? Okay. Oh, there it is. Never mind, I found it. Okay. I was scared. <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> okay, I thought I lost it. I thought it was under the seat because, you know, sometimes it does that. Just close to me. Alright, so that's all of them. Oh, Kamiya Matarasu. It has begun at long last. The wave of dark waves of darkness have finally begun to roll. All those evil power I can't help it much longer. Matarasu is one final thing I must tell you. The man of the moon tribe with the golden hair. I want you to tell him something. The celestials will never forget how he fought alongside you in order to attack. We are forever grateful. So now, the way to the fi true final battle is the way to the true final battle is open. Yummy. So we're gonna save him for an entirely separate episode because, well, I figured he deserves a separate episode. You know, he deserves it after all. He is a very special case, am I right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna save. I'm going to ride around here, so I hope you guys do it. Please, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And next time, we're gonna go ahead and face Yami and do the final boss. So yeah, see you guys then. Bye.